what's up all my ljc family and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel family and today 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 guys i just want to tell y'all how much i appreciate all the love and support that y'all have been giving me thank y'all so much but y'all gotta excuse this hair of mine i tell you i took the braids out and I was supposed to be permanent, getting it cut, and you know, just trying to do something to it so I can put it right back up in braids. None of that happened, y'all. None of it happened, but I just want to thank y'all. Y'all know I've been trying my hardest to do Vlogmas, and guess what? I'm doing it, but I'm not doing it the way that I'm supposed to do it because I'm getting my post out late, and I'm not doing my scheduled videos and it is so hard when you have so much to do it's like my free time has completely just took up everything it's, it's just whatever i'm doing is taking up a lot of my time but i just wanted to get some type of video in today this is out of my schedule but my LJC family, I got to get y'all content. And I just want to tell y'all, we do not have very long for Christmas. So if you haven't picked up a gift for that special one, your kids, your grandkids, your mother, your father, your whoever, brother, sister, any type of loved one, best friend or whatever, if you haven't picked up that gift, you know, just go pick it up. And whatever gift you get or whatever gift you give, give from the heart y'all you know a lot of times and i truly understand this a lot of times we give what we think someone want when someone really don't want that like you just think about it what can you give to a person who got everything what can you give to a person who has nothing what can you give to a person who's ungrateful what can you give to a person that will accept anything, but sometimes don't know how to say no. So it's like, what could you give? And everything should come from the heart. I tell y'all, everything should come from the heart. You know, I've just been thinking about it and I've just been going over my life and I've just been looking at some things in my life, y'all. And you know, I'm not sad about anything because the Lord has blessed me another day another single day to be on this earth he blessed me with another day that was given to me that was given to me and i'm grateful for that but you know you gotta also understand in this life you know that's just like say for instance when people give you things you immediately if it's something you don't want or if it's something not worth your while or if it's something like some people just want nothing but expensive gifts and you know and you don't give them that and here they is getting on the phone gossiping telling this person this telling that person that and you know it's sad because it really make people not even want to buy anybody a gift like me i don't care for gifts and if I buy a gift, I'm going to buy something that I really want to give somebody else. I'm just not going to pick out anything and say, hmm, it, 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 it is what it is. I'm, You know, it's the thought that count. It is the thought that count, y'all. But look, you're not going to go and give somebody something you don't want yourself. You, you're just not going to do it. I don't care what you say, how you say it, but you're not going to do it, y'all. I'm stuck in traffic, y'all. I'm just sitting here looking at my head. Why do my hair look? My hair grew, but baby, when I tell you, it looks a mess. It looks a mess. But anyway, y'all, be grateful for the things that you get. Be grateful for the people in your life. Be grateful for the people who walked out of your life. Be grateful for everything because you know what? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, what are you going to do if you just mad at the world? You you not happy about nothing. You just feel like the world is against you. You just feel like stuff just start tumbling down on top of your head. Don't feel like that, y'all. We are all here on this earth for a purpose. We are all here on this earth for a purpose. A lot of us don't know our purpose. 
but we are here for a purpose you know and you have to pray and ask god god show me my purpose show me my purpose and i'm not saying it's gonna come right away it's gonna come immediately but god is gonna guide you through your purpose you know i say lord i thank you every single day because one way or the other he's gonna show me my purpose probably have already showed me my purpose and i just overlooked it but i'm so grateful that you know the lord wake me up every morning bless me to see another day you know it was times that i didn't know how i was gonna make it y'all i'm telling y'all it was times i didn't know how i was gonna make it but for some reason y'all for some reason i made it for some reason i made it and i wake up in the morning and I just look around and I say, Lord, I thank you because, you know, without you, none of this is possible. Without you, Lord, none of this is possible. You know, like right now, I'm sitting here stuck in traffic, head hurt, and I have a, a assignment that I need to do and that I need to get done. And you can best believe I'm going to go and, and finish getting it done. I didn't already start on it. I just... I just have so much guys you know it's just so overwhelming and i'm trying to get to a point to where i can sit down and spend time with my grandkids and enjoy that type of life y'all last night i i had so much fun i went to my oldest grandbaby game she did an awesome job they school did and then i went to my other grandbaby you know basketball game and then you know i stayed there watched her play and then I went to pick up my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter. You know, so I love doing stuff like that with my grandkids. I love doing stuff like that. Because you know what? At the end of the day, life is short. And you might not never get that time to enjoy your grandkids. I have three grandkids that be in my house probably every weekend or every week almost. And... It is such an amazing, I mean, it is such an amazing feeling in your heart when you walk through that door and they just take off running, screaming and hollering, me, 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 me. It is such a good feeling when you walk through that door and you hear me, 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 me. It is such a good feeling. You know, it feels so good. But I'm grateful because, you know, it's things in my life, you know, that I, um, I'm not going to say wish. Because if I wish, it's just like I'm telling the Lord that my life wasn't nothing. You know, everything that he didn't bless me with. Everything that he didn't bless me with. But what I'm grateful for, Lord, is, you know, for the Lord making a way for me. You know, when you don't know which way you're going to go, when you don't know which way you, you got to go, guess what? That's it. At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's you lost. You are literally lost and you know i don't know how people get an opportunity to really live life and things happen to them and they get their second chance and they don't they don't show god their appreciation i don't know how people can do that because when i wake up in the morning i want to show him how much i appreciate it when i go to sleep at night i want to tell him how much i appreciate for making it through the day you know, it's so many of us, you know, like I had wanted to talk about, um, you know, a lot of us, when we get hurt in life, guess what we do? We take that hurt in every, as every part of our life as possible. We take it in every part of our life. We don't give ourselves time enough to sit and think and be like, well, you know, Lord, you really did get me through that situation and you know you really helped me and you really blessed me you know because what we try to do is we hold on to hurt and when you hold on to that hurt guess what you holding on to that person who hurt you regardless of who you are male female boy girl whatever when you hold on to that hurt, you giving the other person the benefit of the doubt to hurt you even more after they hurt you. And, you know, you got to really open your eyes and you got to really understand that, you know, life is 
is crazy, you know. But if you don't have God in your life and you don't trust God, you'll be somewhere lost. You'll be somewhere walking around here lost. And it makes me mad because, you know, I just look at people and I see how some people life, you know, they life is, they life really go right, you know, enjoying it and, you know, doing what they want to do and waking up in the morning and going where they want to go and stuff like that. But nobody, nobody want to thank the man above our father for everything that he has done for us and everything that he's doing you know like me i had my battles and i had to pray about it and i had to tell god i had to say lord i don't understand how people can sit and not thank you how people can sit and not praise you how people can sit and not worship you you know because you've been too good i i mean i just I don't understand. I don't be, I'm sorry, y'all. I got a headache. I don't want to be the one always making it seem like, you know, I'm just this big old, I, I don't, I don't even know how to say it, Lord, but what I'm grateful for is, you know, you pulling me through, you know, pulling me through, through everything that I have been through. And, you know, being hurt y'all gotta y'all gotta be able to understand when someone hurt you it's a difference between hurt it's a difference between broken and to me being hurt you know it's you hurt you know that person did this your feelings hurt you know other things or, you know, things are not going right in your life. You don't know how to, you know, get over this. You cover up the hurt with <coughs> whatever you cover it, cover, it, cover it up with. And I just feel like when you broken, it's a whole nother level. When you are broken, the pieces in your life are not put back together as easy. That's just like going to work a puzzle with 500 pieces. And you're searching and searching and searching just for that piece to go in the right place. And then you finally find that piece and you put it in the right place and you got 498 more pieces to go or 497 more pieces to go. You got all these different pieces in your life and you piecing yourself back together piece by piece by piece. That's just like when you break when when a when a when a piece of glass is broken or or a mirror is broken and it's shattered into so many different pieces guess what you can't just go pick that glass up pick it and, and it's shattered and try to put it back together you're gonna have a whole lot of missing pieces from the type of uh the way you tried to bond it back together you're gonna have a lot of missing pieces a lot of missing pieces so I just say that to say this, you know, there to me, there is a difference between hurt and broken and broken. It puts several things back because hurt is just like you bumped your, your knee. You, somebody stepped on your toe or, you know, something like that. You, you, you hurting because your head hurt. You hurting because somebody, you know, stepped on, stepped on your heart, but broken I'm telling y'all, I, I, I've I been trying to figure out the difference, but I know the difference. That's why I never say I was hurt. I, 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 I try not to say that I was hurt because hurt is an understatement. I wasn't hurt. I was broken. And to me, that is a more severe uh, thing in your life because being broken is really hard to get yourself back together. It's really hard. Even when you put those pieces back together after you didn't set up there and did piece by piece and you finally put them pieces back together. Guess what? Your life still... I'm sorry. Your life still don't seem right. You still don't have that quote unquote um, step that you need to move forward because you're so lost. You're so lost. You're like, dang, now... I got all these pieces together. I got myself together. Now, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do? How am I going to do this? What am I going to do? So, you know, I just say, 
you know there is a difference to me it's my i mean that's my opinion y'all might have a different opinion y'all can drop it down in the comments below and let me know how you feel differently but you know you can't sit up here i have set up here and i'm telling you i have wrote goals down every single year up until two years ago i said i was gonna stop writing no resolutions yeah I say, I'm going to stop doing resolutions because I never, ever get to do or complete any of my resolutions that I did. So then I said, well, I'm going to just start writing goals down. And then I start figuring out, you know what, Donna? One day ain't going to change what your life has been. One day ain't going to change, but you can start changing it. You can start working on it. You can start digging up them pieces out of that, that puzzle and start putting them pieces together and you will learn your life at the end of the day every time when you piece something together it get closer and closer to the to the perfect picture right it get closer and closer to whatever the picture is if you break glass and you piece it back together it, it's gonna be closer to what the glass was if you if you do a puzzle and it got 500 pieces and you put the pieces together and you got half of the puzzle piece piece together you're gonna kind of see what the box always show what the picture look like so you got to follow the instructions, follow the directions to put the puzzle together, right? But once you put that puzzle halfway together, you start coming, you start seeing, okay, oh, oh, okay, okay. This piece go here, this piece go there, this piece, this. So you really start feeling good about things. And that's what being broken is. When you put, when you start putting those pieces together in your life and you start realizing stuff, then you be like, dang. I can't believe that or dang this or dang that and I'm really 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 excited you know I'm, I, I people just don't understand that I am so thankful for what I went through because to me I was picking up pieces trying to put me together and every piece was the wrong piece every piece was the wrong piece and I just put a piece somewhere in my life I just placed it in there but you know it's it's crazy because people don't understand you know what you go through you lose people you lose people in your life that you know you had so like like with me I'm gonna just be straight up honest when me and my husband got a divorce I lost his family some of them not all of them I lost some of his family, but it ain't not one part of my piece of my family that didn't like him, that didn't talk to him. They love him because he was family and he'll, he'll forever be family, no matter what, no matter who I'm in a relationship with, no matter who he's in a relationship with, I might not agree or accept who he's with, but he's family, you know, so when you pick up these pieces and you start putting them back together, there's going to be a piece of your past off in there. There's going to be a piece of your past off that you're going to bring in there. So if you're going to bring it into, you know, piecing yourself back together, make it to where it's positive. Make it to where it's love. Make that piece of your new puzzle, make it the piece that you want to complete like you 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 not you not pushing or hurting no one you know because i can't i can't sit up here and tell you out of 24 years being in a relationship i just lost everything for this person i can't tell you that yeah when things happened things went bad things went crazy but at the end of the day we're family we're family this is somebody who was that I raised my kids around. This is somebody who helped me when I couldn't help myself. You know, even when he couldn't help himself, I never put him down. I never talked bad about him. I never said anything about him and, and, and vice versa, you know, and I don't care what people think of me and what people say, you know, he's going to be my family regardless but you know you don't have to be all up in nobody's face and you don't have to want to 
be with somebody or you, you know you don't have to do all that for them to be your family you know because family is very important and i'm grateful for the people that i have in my life as my family but you know we just got to make things work in life and when you gonna bring other things from that puzzle to the future guess what it's gonna it's gonna it, it's it just you just gotta make it work you just gotta make it work there is no way you can put a piece put a puzzle together and that puzzle is it, it looks just like that picture right so you already know what the picture gonna look like you just gotta put it together right that's what i'm saying if you already know that you are gonna bring that person as some type of family or some type of something in your life you got to add them into the pieces too and you know you you eventually get over you eventually get over you know the pain and the suffering and you know broken it's gonna take you a while but you gotta open up you know open up to people and not let people tell you who to be friends with or who to like or who not to like because guess what at the end of the day you're you're not the one that's happy you're not the one you know you got to sacrifice so much you got to sacrifice a lot sometimes to really really make you know make make everything work because if you just sitting around here you don't like this person you don't want to talk to that person you don't have nothing for this person you only making your life miserable you're only making your life miserable. But I try my hardest to to respect and like everybody. I do. I, I try to like everybody. I'm not going to let nobody get mad at me. And regardless to who I'm with or who I'm not with, you know, you can't tell me I can't talk to this person. or You can't tell me I should, what I shouldn't do. You should be more worried about your business than my business. Let me worry about my business. You worry about your business. And I guarantee you it'll be a better outcome of everything. Because there's nobody telling you not to. There's nobody telling you this. There's nobody telling you that. You are putting yourself together for you. You are building you up for you. So you don't have to sit and wait on nobody else to tell you, be their friend. Accept them. Answer the phone. Don't call them don't text them you you can't you don't have nobody telling you that because it's all on you but you know i, I wanted to get a video out and i just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit tonight you know as i'm stuck in this traffic and whew, got a headache and i gotta go do some things and i'm just stuck you can't move you can't go nowhere this is a one-way one-way town one way in one way out and you know you just gotta make it do what it do and i try my hardest to do anytime somebody asks me for something or asks me to do something i try to do it because that's the same type of results i will want when i ask somebody to do something and you know we gotta quit being selfish we gotta we gotta quit being selfish and start thinking about other people because if we just sitting up here thinking about ourselves what we need, what we want, how we going to get it, when we going to get it, this and that. Guess what? It'll never be right. It'll never, never, ever be right for you. But that's why I say love yourself, respect yourself. Don't let nobody disrespect you. When people break you, put them pieces back together. Keep it moving. You got to keep it moving because if you stand still, guess what? You ain't going to go nowhere. You can't stand still and not go nowhere. But when people are hurting you and doing stuff to you, it's a difference when the Bible say, you know, peace be still. Be still and let the Lord hold, let the Lord fight your battle. Be still and let the Lord fight your battle. That's saying don't go out there and try to seek revenge on this person or wish bad on this person or not forgive this person. That's what that means. The Lord is going to take care of you regardless to what the situation is. So you have to hold your head up high. And you have to allow the Lord to work in your life. You have to. And you know, when you got things going on, you're moving. You're moving forward in your life. You're not, because if you stay back, what, staying back, what is it going to do for you? It's only going to hold you back. 
And you're not going to have anything, anything, anything in this world to uh, look forward to. So always move forward, but trust God. And if somebody do something to you, don't pray bad on them. Don't wish bad on them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Every hurt and pain I went through, I prayed for the person, the people. I'm not going to just put it. I, ain't, I just ain't only been hurt. I ain't only been hurt by one person, but I've been broken by one. I ain't, ain't nobody else ever broke me. Ain't nobody else ever broke me. I ain't never been broke. Hurt, yes. But, you know, being broken, like I say, is different. It's because, you know, when you really, really love somebody and you really wanted to or you thought you was going to spend eternal with them. Well, not eternal, eternal. When you thought you was going to spend your the rest of your life that God has for you on this earth. You know, when you thought that was going to happen and it all came crushing down on your face, that's being broken. Put them pieces together and keep it moving because guess what? You can best believe that person ain't thinking about you. That person ain't worried about you. That person ain't trying to do nothing to um, make they self, you know, be, a, be the bigger person or apologize so why are you gonna stress yourself out over a, a situation that you have no control over you know just like i tell y'all all the time never feel bad when a man do leave you never feel bad because guess what that other woman ain't no better than you don't ever think that i don't care how she look how she built what she got she and she ain't never gonna amount to what you are you know she, she you know because we all we all have our own stuff that we deal with in life and we all are here to be different we all are not here to be the same so just because that man left you for that woman don't think something wrong with you that you couldn't pay nobody couldn't pay me or make me think that i think something is wrong with me but you know i don't worry about it i i don't I don't visual the situation anymore. Visualize, visual, whatever have you put it. I don't do that anymore. I, I don't do that in my uh, in myself because I put myself down. I made myself, you know, think about this and think about that. I started being bitter and I started wondering. But then, when you see other people and you see how things are going and you see what things look like, you know, you kind of get that. Uh, you know how you have glau glaucoma in your eyes and you got to go get that extra skin or whatever it is when you get your eyes clean that's what I try my hardest to keep up off of my eyes you know I don't only want to see things my way I don't only want to see things a way that other people I don't want people telling me that I'm not this or I'm not that yeah you're going to have people laughing at you you're going to have people, when you when when you go through stuff, a divorce, a breakup, mental issues, some type of problem, people going people gonna to laugh at you. They're going to laugh at you. You know why they're going to laugh at you? Because they don't have no life. They don't understand life. They don't understand what it feels to be broken, to be hurt. So they're going to laugh and they're going to make a big thing out of it. But what they need to not, what they need to do is be there telling you it's okay. You know, you didn't do nothing wrong. You know, you just got to let this pass. And once it passed, let it go. Let it go. You know, you don't have to hold on to all of that. For what? For what? But I just thank y'all, my LJC family. I love y'all. And like I said, I just wanted to get this video out. I just want, you know, y'all to really understand that it's okay to be in these situations because guess what? God is going to put you back together. All you got to do is ask for it. So anyway, my LJC family, I love y'all and I thank y'all. And let me get a... Uh, Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's Vlogmas, y'all. It's Vlogmas, and I'm in there. I'm in there. I hope y'all enjoy my other videos that I have done so far. Like I told y'all a million times, 
I don't care if I get one view on any video, at least I know somebody watched it. So if I just get one person to watch my video, I'm good. I'm good. I have no hard feelings. I'm not sad about nothing. My heart is in everything. My heart is in it. My mind is in it. I want to be a content creator. I want to be a YouTuber. But it's going to take time. It's going to take patience. And guess what? I'm going to get there because I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I don't care what anybody else do. I'm not giving up. But once again, my LJC family, don't forget to come. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I love y'all. Be blessed.